Welcome, welcome everybody. I'll introduce myself in just a moment. Have a look straight down the middle of the road. We, I think this is so much, so much more important. Okay, they said we can go in front, Seb. Okay. Let's go in front. Right, I'll do the introduction. Right, morning everybody. Gremlins have been attacking us hard. My name is Taylor and on camera with me is Sebastian. Morning, thank you guys. What a, what a great start to the morning. We've got wild dogs, three wild dogs by the looks of it. And I'm so happy because everybody has been so wonderful with us because we obviously they know that we haven't really been seeing much. They've just said that we can come straight into the sighting. So thank you to the Arethusa guides and the Chitwa guides for allowing us to come in for this. Woohoo! <laughs> Even that wild dog was like, oh no, that crazy blonde girl's back. She's found us. How exciting is this? I don't know which wild dogs it is just yet. I literally only just got a moment to see them. I'm going to try and get in front of them. I just want to see. We're going to try and get in front of them. Because these dogs are going to move quite quickly and I think if we can get in front of them instead of following them the whole time it will be easier. Ah! Go Wendy! Turn! No. Not happening. <laughs> right. It seems as though Wendy of course you know is the tank and she doesn't move very quickly. But how cool is this? Oh it looks like they're also going off road now isn't it? Trying to figure out what these dogs are doing. I don't think we're going to have them for much longer. I think they're heading to the boundary now. I know it's been a quick view and we haven't really had much of a chance to have a look at them. We're going to loot you south. I'm just listening trying to figure out which is going to be the best way. See, everyone's going off-road now. Right, how exciting is this? Obviously, as you know, wild dogs make you run around quite a bit. I don't even know if I can drive here. Sounds like they're chasing water back. I'm listening to the radio as we're driving along. I don't know where they've gone. They're up ahead. But they are chasing water back. This is one of the guides up in front. I think it's Andres that's actually talking to on the radio. Whew. Now I know that there are two packs of dogs of three. One from the lower Sabi, the, the last of the lower Sabi pack, and then there's another breakaway pack. But uh, we, of course you saw we didn't get a really good view of them. It was really just a split second view. And they're zigzagging up and down. I can see them. They're just up ahead on the road. And this is the problem with wild dogs. Not that it's a problem because it, even if you get to see them for a split second, you're very, very, very lucky, of course. But they don't move in a straight line ever. Not even once. I don't know if I can drive here. I need to ask. Is this still Chitwa? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'm, everyone's laughing at me because I don't know the, I don't know the roads. We don't have an online map, so it's always difficult looking at a paper map and trying to figure out where they're going. Oh no, now they're taking their own route. That means we're going to follow them. They're looking for something to eat, obviously, especially if they're moving this erratically through the bush. Now, I apologize if I don't look back at you. Watch your head, Seb. It's just because I'm going to try and stay on them and follow them for these guys. Like, we're lucky. We're quite nimble through the bushes. Whereas when you've got guests on the back of your vehicle, it can be quite difficult to move as quickly as you need to when you've got dogs. Hold on, Seb, there's warthog burrows here. You know what? I don't think we're going to get in here. They're going straight east, but I've lost visual. It's my Ningi Monkey Orange here. I won't be able to follow them. Okay. So just keeping them updated. They're going straight east. We need to try and get out of here now because there's no ways. Goodness, we almost went down to China there, hey, Seb? We went sh <laughs> That was a big warthog burrow. <laughs> Alice, are you still there? I don't know how I'm going to get out of here now. So, I was wondering if Alice is still around me and, I wa and maybe I wasn't live. Like, Seb, I don't know how we're going to get out of here now. I'm going to have to go 
sorry the trees on the left good eh? okay so now my earpiece has just fallen out so i can't actually hear what's going on ah those sneaky dogs took us straight into a trap now i don't know where we're we going to go to relocate on them yeah we're gonna have to do those many fallen trees there Whew. okay watch your heads here and myself and Seb have got the sniffles today too it's freezing we've got blankets on our laps we've got all sorts of things let me just quickly concentrate and get back onto the road watch heads Seb is obviously uh, expert at ducking and diving especially when I'm driving but there's only one way to follow wild dogs and it's not slowly okay right let's go come on Wendy yeah Rusty was giving us signal problems this morning so we had to change over to the trusty rust bucket this is the fun part Whee! try and duck through there and go all the way down this way they're going straight east so I I don't actually know where they're going to pop out hopefully we'll be able to jump onto a road that goes to our left but they move so quickly right okay here we go no we need to turn <laughs> the tank I think we should rename her to Thomas the Tank Engine. I reckon that's a more suited name. Wendy the Tank. Okay, I'm looking for cars. I'm looking for flashes of white from the dogs. But I think, oh, little bumps here. We gotta keep going. But if any of you do know which pack of dogs it is, here's I see a vehicle. Let, can welcome to let us know hashtag Safari Live. Perhaps you managed to grab the quickest screenshot in the in world history of Safari Live. Are they coming here by the sounds of it? Let's pull off. I'm gonna go up a little bit further. So they're obviously trying to flush out prey from Impala to many different things there they are to Dacre to Steenbok you see they they go on the move and they've got such amazing stamina that they can keep it up for quite a long time they do look like they have a bit of blood on their paws though and they've got round bellies so I wonder if they haven't already caught something see those big bellies sure they're quick here comes the other one Sebo you got it They're quick, eh? <laughs> We're laughing. There they are. Yeah. Do you want to come this? I can you booger? Okay. What I might do, Seb, is I'm going to go back just a little bit so we can we can all fit in. There we go. Oh no, now we can't see. There we go. That's all right. If you jiggle them over, then they'll be able to see. There we go. We're just quickly talking and watching them. Oh. Now you see that's what happens when your diet consists of just protein unfortunately you end up having a not so great stomach we see this often we often see it with lions too their stool is not always completely solid but i wonder what they must have caught did you guys see them catch something ah so this, how's this so apparently they were eating impala and then the hyenas came through and um it, they were stealing well they tried to steal it from the from the dog so at least they got a couple of mouthfuls this is amazing so what we'll do is once they decide where they're going to go again we will carry on and we'll head in that direction we're obviously all just cramped up on top of each other because we want to get the best view and at the moment the way that we're parked is the best view for for all of us in the sighting but how amazing is this i didn't think i was going to wake up and see wild dogs today i had that feeling the other day Okay, so apparently you guys are saying that it is the Lower Sabi Breakaway Pack. Well, that's good. Thank you so much for assisting us in that ID. So if I'm not mistaken, this is two males and a female. I think that's the, the Breakaway Pack. There's also a red crested Korhan calling in the distance. Now, one has moved off into the bushes. Let's see if the other two are going to follow them. 
But how great is this? Now oh, they've come away, come from a very very long way. If any of you know where Lower Sabi is and with the Kruger, it's quite a distance. Okay, let's try. I'm gonna quickly just go back and we'll follow them down the road. Now, Paula, you're wondering if wild dogs normally stay in packs. Yes, they do. It's not common to see a solitary wild dog. You see, it's very important for their hunting uh, habits in order to hunt in a group. It's like lions. Lions are more successful when they hunt together. Here's one of them. We'll carry on up the road, though. I'm actually not sure if I'm still on Chitwa. We'll just keep going until we get told we're not on the right property. But like I said, I don't actually know where we are right now. We're on one of the roads. We haven't quite got to <laughs> we haven't got to Cheetah Plains driveway just yet, so I'm sure we're still in the clear. Here comes another one. This is a male at the back here. I'm trying to figure out who's who in the zoo. One male I can definitely seen. We'll try and get the sexes of the other two. There's a female. I think it is, yeah, two males and a female if I'm not mistaken. No, that's also a boy. Is it? Yes. Never mind, those are two males. Let's see this one at the back. It looks slightly more fine. Yeah, that looks like the girl. You see what they're doing now? How they're rolling in the grass? There must be another scent of maybe another animal around here. They're also marking their territories. But remember, we often see with lions, leopards, wild dogs, they'll roll around in another scent to try and mask their scent. And if any of you have been fortunate enough to go on a safari and see wild dogs, you'll know that you can smell them. And it's often what, other than seeing a flash of white or having antelope alarming quite hectic, is you, you'll smell them. They leave their scent everywhere. It's a sweet, stinky, blue cheese, dirty sock smell. It's not particularly pleasant at all. And off they go again through the thicket. We're gonna, you see, we're not gonna be able to follow them through there. It gets so dense. And now we've got to try and figure out which direction they're going to go. Let's watch them because, they, like I said, they're zigzagging. Wow, okay. Let's. Let's carry on, let's go. We're gonna try and race around and catch them up there. Natalie, you said that they've got such a spring to their step. They do indeed. You don't often get to see lazy wild dogs, if you will. Uh, of course, they do enjoy having their rests, just as lions and leopards will have siestas and things like that. Wild dogs as well, when it gets very hot. Hornbills, I'm coming through. Excuse me. Don't get run over, please. <laughs> they didn't want to move off the road. You know that one time when you, you can't really wait and stop and have a look at the hornbills and they don't want to fly away. Where were you yesterday? All the more this morning. We're just going to pass this again.